Hey guys, welcome back. I've been getting a lot of requests for a gold farming video. Um, a lot of new players will start the game and they'll use their dream fluff box and they'll be like, why is this skill 1.8 billion gold? I, there's no way I could afford that right now. I just started. Well, I'm going to give you a way to be able to afford that after, uh, depending on how many characters you make. Uh, I, I only have, to, I only run two gold farmers right now. Um, because I don't like having that too many clients open. I have, as you can see, I already have way too many open. I have, but I, I, this doesn't even include the producers I have to get open and um, the guys that I use to camp card sets open. Um, but I don't like to have a lot of gold farmers open. I used to run 22 of them. Not anymore. It was so hectic. Like Wednesdays when the servers go down, Thursday morning I have to log 30, 40 accounts and it sucks. It takes like an hour. I don't do it anymore. But you can. If you're a non-AG user or you're a very small AG user, like you buy 1,200 here, AG here, 1,200 AG there, you're going to need gold to gold farm because you're going to need to buy your skills. So this is a small guide on how to do that. Now, this video is going off the assumption that you bought a Dream Fluff box for your gold farmer. You watched the other video about what skills you need for the gold farmer. Um, and you got all those skills. Now, gold farmers are a little bit different. Gold farmers aren't based on leveling. They're not, you don't build them for leveling, you build them for maximum gold per hour. Not maximum gold per 10 minutes, not maximum gold per 30 minutes, maximum gold per hour. The reason that is because drops are random. You don't go off of drops every 10 minutes because you might not get one drop for 10 minutes and then you might get a drop every single kill um, for the next 10 minutes. So gold per hour is what you want to go off of. Now this character, Brings in probably about 12 mil gold per hour. These drops sell them. 12 mil gold per hour. Brings in probably about 200 mil a day. Give or take 20 mil. Um, and then my other guy. He's a little bit faster. He's a little bit more geared. Um, he brings in a little bit less. He, this guy brings in the most gold for me. He's an assassin as you can see. Um, but let's go over the build and what you need, what you're going to need. All right, so you just bought the Dream Fluff Box, you just bought all the skills. Now for Assassin, I would recommend Assassin 1 because they have something called Mad Enhancement. Mad Enhancement increases your movement speed. That's the only important part you need in this. The attack, 600 attack, it's negligible because you already one-hit these. Um, even with bad gear, you already one-hit them. You need about, um, I want to say around 15 to 20k attack for this, you get that. But ask a weapon smith to make you a weapon for 240, and you get that. Um, Mad enhancement, that's what that's your bread and butter. It makes you move at increased move, 60% increased movement speed, so you move mob to mob faster. And then poison dagger. You can also use the other daggers. Um, there's other ones. There's poison. There's stunning. There's stuff like that. The reason why you use them is because they're they're mid range spells. They're not um, close range spells. Um, see, as you can see, I was that far away. To kill that thing. And that's why you use it. Um, everything else is shadowy killer. Eh. I got life. Because. Why not? The only skills that you absolutely need. Is your main skill. In reserve. That is it. You do not need anything else. Mantle or garment is recommended. That way you take less damage. You want hit them so it doesn't actually matter. Spear. I use spear. For the bloody song. A little bit extra damage. Uh, axe. Crit. Extra shield, life, eh, I, as you can see, I didn't really get anything. Um, I don't use those for anything, but it's a gold farmer it's meant to do. So if I want to bring this to a high level place that I do not want hit, I have Holy Ballad, and I have Sacred uh, Silver Shield, and I have this, and I can go buy Sankey support and all that. Now, the big thing you don't want to do when you're just starting out is you don't want to go all, to all these NPCs and buy these skills, like Sankey support 4 and this and that. You want to... Because that would be investing money into a farmer right now when you need the gold for your main right now. So what I what I did for my older farmers is I set my guy to farm. 50% of everything he make will go to my staller just to, as, as like a bank. The other 50% would stay on him and I would use that 50% when it adds up to buy him to buy that farmer skill. So I'll buy Senki support or um, maybe a higher level Mad Enhancement if I want to level this guy and stuff like that. That way you're still gaining but you're also investing some of it into your guy over time. This is how you should do it. That way you're not making the down payment, basically the down payment on the guy, and then saying, crap, now my main's without skills. So what I do is 
gets invested to this character, 50% gets invested to the other character. I With the 50%, I use to buy this fuzzy chipmunk. It's just a mount, so when all this stream fluff stuff expires, I have a mount. Uh, the other 50%, like, I, I use all my 50% for this character to buy the badge and the weapon and the mount. And fashion's not really needed, so you don't need to worry about that. And stuff like that. Uh, also, Mark Portal Scrolls. Not needed, but once again, that 50% is for this character to make him more efficient. Mark Portal Scrolls does that, so you can go to this place. You is uh, Hunter's Ridge. Uh, it's in Jurassic. Here we go. Hunter's Ridge in Jurassic. All you have to do is walk to Hoka's Villas to sell your inventory. Not very far. But if you have, like, event items like I do now, then you're going to need to go to AL. That's what the Mark Portal Scrolls Use this to go to AL. Use Mark Portal Scrolls to get back. 10 mil a piece. 8 to 10 mil a piece. Um... One per day, if that. Um, and there you go. And the good thing about this place is it also drops S-Class stuff that you can use for your albums. Um, I do believe I have dropped one last night. I did. 130 sword, S-Class sword. I could use this for my album to make my main stronger. Uh, I plan on doing I plan on making that times 10, a 10-5, and then albuming it right away. I have lower level stuff to do that. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's, that's the setup for these. I would recommend... Assassin, once again, because man enhancement moves mob to mob faster. Um, I also have a spear. This is this is being used as a gold farmer for now. Um, with basic attackers as a one second cooldown. Only because I'm going to... It's not strong enough to train yet. Um, and then this baby setup is literally just poison dagger. Assist. Use the buffs. That's it. I put this on soul, dis soul, dis soul discharge on because this is an MP skill. Um... Another very good one is Axe, Pummel Spam. Pummel, Pummel has like a 1.5 second cooldown, and it's an AoE, so it just spams it. It just spams it nonstop, so you can kill multiple mobs at once. Uh, I wouldn't recommend Mages for gold farming, because their cooldowns are low, but also are high, but also, let's see, Forbidden Curse. 2.5 second cooldown. Like I said, it's all about maximizing your gold per hour. 10 casts of this, that's 1.5 seconds longer than the Assassin skill. 10, that's 10.5 seconds, um, uh, I'm probably doing bad math, but 10.5 seconds longer after 10 casts than the Assassin skill, and it just adds up over the course of a full day. Um, so you want the fastest you can get. One second is the fastest you can get for a cooldown. So any skill really bad will work. Poison Dagger I got because it was mid-ranged. Spear, basic attack is mid-ranged because you have a skill that increases the range of your spells. Uh, I'm not using that right now. But it's right there, extend shot, makes your stuff mid-range. Uh, I don't know why I'm not using that right now. Oh, because I don't have it there. There we go, let's put that there. Now all my stuff is mid-ranged. There you go. Um, axe you can use because it's the Axe Pummel's range. Sword, you can use Strangle Strike. Longer cooldown, but it makes it so you can farm higher level mobs. Um, but, ma but farming locations, my recommendations would be as so. Just starting out, I would go here. I would go to Hunter's Hunter's Ridge and Jurassic. Best, this is like the most popular farming spot right here. You can go to Silver Snow, it's a little higher level. You can go to Sub-Zero Market, that's another very, very popular spot. Um, the reason why these are popular is because the item drops per hour are higher than most other places. Now, when you get to a very, very high level, um, let's see. There's a place in Sequoia or Shua. I, I do not remember what it is, but they drop one gold, 1k gold to 2k gold per kill for elite mobs. But you need to be have like 70k attack, and at that point, um, you're not going to have to worry about gold because you're going to be strong enough. You're, you're going to have plenty of gold. But like I said, um, farm the gold as, as many farms as you want. Um, Put 50% on your banker, 50% on your character, invest 50% into your character to make it stronger and more efficient. You'll find that you farm more gold per day. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give me a subscription so you can see other videos coming out. And see you later.